<clears throat> I wanted to talk about some linguistic tricks and some persuasion. They're, they're somewhat related, but almost not. Um, so do you remember when uh, Black Lives Matter became a, became a thing? And when it became a thing, the people who were not happy with it, or the people feeling left out, uh, fell into this trap. They would, they would hear people say Black Lives Matter, and they would agree. That they would agree. They'd say, yeah, totally matter. And then they would try to extend it and say, all lives matter. And all hell would break loose because they had just branded themselves as racist. So Black Lives Matter was uh, a really clever trap because it almost begged you to say, yeah, of course all black lives matter. All lives matter. And in the moment you said that, the other side could say, ha, gotcha, gotcha. You didn't say it the right way. You didn't say black lives matter and stop. You said all lives matter, which is only what racists say. Now, it's a ridiculous idea, but from a linguistic persuasion, you know, public gotcha perspective, it is almost the perfect trap. Because if you say to a reasonable person, do you agree that all black lives matter? Most reasonable people would say, I totally agree with that. And I'll extend that a little bit to say other lives, uh, 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 you know, the alarms go off. Because the moment you try to extend it to be even more reasonable <laughs> and say, how about human life matters? You fall into the trap and then you're racist. But what you might not have recognized is that uh, the, the left did it again. It's the same trick. Let's see if you recognize it from the pattern, remember? So the pattern is uh, Black Lives Matter is so tempting to disagree with it, to disagree while agreeing, basically to say, yeah, they all matter, but I'm just so tempted to extend that to other lives. You almost can't, just your, your brain almost can't stop from falling into the trap. So now we saw the, the Nazis uh, doing their thing in Charlottesville, and the president came out and uh, uh, unwisely <laughs> said, uh, hey, you know, there were, there's bad all around. This allowed people like Arnold Schwarzenegger and people who are agree with him, agreeing with him, to come out and say stuff like, there is only one side to hate. Do you see the trap? It's the same trap. All right, so, so just think this. Imagine somebody comes up to you and says, you know, about Charlottesville, there is only one side to hate. And you say to yourself, well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree that the the Nazis are the worst. You know, not, there's no way that anybody disagrees with that. But if we're honest, some people were there poking. Wait, uh, 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 don't extend it. It's a trap, All right? So, so the moment you fall into the trap of imagining that you could even talk about or extend the thought or even agree with it even more. So, and here's the thing is that, uh, yeah, the, the trap is almost irresistible. If you happen to be, you know, Republican or conservative or on the right, and somebody says to you that uh, there's only one side to a story, your first impression is, well, that's usually not true. That's almost never true. It might be true that one side is 99% worse, you know, or 99% bad, and one, one is, you know, 1% bad, although in the case of Nazis, they're 100% bad. But you're not, you're not allowed to slice it that way. If you do, you fall into the trap. All right. So <clears throat> here's, here's my advice to you. If you hear either of these things, Black Lives Matter, or there's only one side to hate, the next thing out of your mouth should not be to extend those thoughts while agreeing with the person who said it. <laughs> Don't agree. Don't extend. Just just sort of look in that general direction and go, hmm. That's my advice. <clears throat> Try to work on your sincere looking face. And when somebody says either there's only one side to hate or black lives matter, 
even though you agree with those things, meaning that you agree with the sentiment behind them, don't try to add a little detail to that. Do not. Just look at the person who said that and go, mm, yeah, mm. That's my advice. <clears throat> now, here's a little more advice. Um, I've been watching um, you know, both the networks, and you know, Fox News is a little bit on the defensive this week because there are lots of, uh, <clears throat> lots of suggestions that being Republican is practically the same thing as being in the KKK. <clears throat> so the persuasion on the left is you know, solid gold weapons grade this week because they had that amazing, and by amazing I mean horrible, visual of the, uh, the racist with their torches chanting uh, stuff. And man, that was really a scary, scary visual. You, don't, you rarely will get a visual that scary. That was frickin' scary. If you haven't watched it, um, you know, spliced together so you see sort of an extended piece of it. You haven't really seen it yet. Um, so Fox News being sort of on the defensive here, um, being you know, sort of the Republican, um, you know, I would say voice on the right, they have tried to defend themselves in the following manner, which is the worst, the worst, the worst persuasive defense you've ever heard. Here it is, and it goes like this. Somebody says, blah, 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 Republicans did something that sounds racist. You know, just any news story, blah, 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 Republicans did something that sounds racist. And then there will be some pundit who tries to respond like this. Well, in... 1919, there once was a Democrat who was in the KKK. Well, nobody mentions that. And I'm thinking, you fucking idiot, it's not 1919. The Democratic Party is not the Democratic Party that was, you know, uh, forming the KKK or whatever the fuck was happening a hundred fucking years ago. It is the dumbest. Yeah, the, the bird thing. Yeah, bird was a KKK a million years ago. Oh, yes, and it's... It's also recently somebody said some good things about him 30 fucking years ago. All right. If you can't defend, if you can't defend your side, yeah, Tucker, <laughs> if you can't defend your side in 197, or I'm sorry, 19, if you can't defend your side based on what they're doing this year, don't really look into the past to find out what the other guys were doing 100 years ago. Summary, blah, 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 your side are a bunch of racists right now. Oh, yeah? Well, people who had the same name as the organization that you belong to, who are all dead now and have nothing to do with you, they were racist 100 years ago. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. You know what it sounds like? It sounds exactly like, um, well, some of my best friends are black. You know, the, if you're from another country watching this, you don't know. That's a... That's a famous thing in America. If you say that, it means you probably are a racist, but it's your best defense. Well, I got a few friends who are black. Um, if you're defending your your side in the year 2017 by pointing out that the other side, which were completely different people who are all dead now, were bad 100 years ago, you do not have an argument, my friend. <laughs> you're, you're shooting blanks. <laughs> 